Hey guys, I'm going to do a bit of a uh, vlog today, just a sh short one. I'm off out to get my bloods done for the second time. I didn't take you last time because when I got there it was actually surprisingly busy, which was not good. The first time I went down there um, at the very start of this it was completely empty. So I've been avoiding going to the hospital for my blood test. Luckily my doctors are fine with that. They really don't want me at the hospital like, anyway because of my immune system it would be very dangerous so i'm going down to my local diagnostic center that does blood screening there and they'll then send it to the hospital and i'll get my results that way luckily as well my bloods aren't taken in the doctor's surgery there's like a separate building so that's also very good i will be wearing gloves I'm not going to be wearing a mask today because I have some very uh, severe bleeding which is making it quite hard to um, sort of talk as it is. So I'm going to keep my mask off unless it gets really busy. I'll have one in my bag. But the main reason I have to go today, although today isn't a Wednesday, I was meant to have a week off the blood test this week. I have a lot of my tiki rash and i'm not sure if it can be picked up on camera but the worst patch is up my arms and on my hands so i phoned the doc uh my um my specialist and they said unfortunately you are gonna have to go for blood tests this week and i've only just got off a weekly <laughs> blood test today's a thursday or was it friday today i think it's a thursday so basically i am <laughs> now back on weekly blood test i had almost had a week off but my body obviously had other ideas and at this moment in time this is not a good time to be having a relapse but obviously it is what it is hopefully I can get medicated from home and I don't have to have a hospital stay um if that is the um if that is what is advised I will be dragging my heels I do not want to go into hospital but if that's what it is that's what it is so i'm going to call a taxi and i'm going to get myself down to the diagnostic center if it's okay too i will film a little bit show you how busy it is or how not busy it is um and hopefully yeah they have my blood form i hope fingers crossed they actually have it because i've been told it's going to be faxed over to them last night so there is a possibility i could be going out for no reason which is not what we want to be doing. Obviously, we want to be staying indoors. So, fingers crossed, they have my blood form, and I'm going to call a taxi, and I'll take you guys with me. So, let's see what's going on. Let's see how busy it is today, though. Let's go and have a look. Well, the shop's closed. That's one good thing. Um... I don't hear nobody, I don't see nobody. Normally there's people waiting out here. Oh no, we're good. And we have lines on the floor. Lines, lines. Anybody up there? Nope. Let's go talk to them. Hello, they lost my blood form. <laughs> it's so quiet. This room is going to be full. Nothing. Is it got lost? No, no. <laughs> All right. Hey guys, I've had my blood test done. That went fine, but I want to show you this cute little goose that's chosen to nest in a giant plant pot. Somebody's given her some water, so she is fine because over there, somewhere, is a huge massive lake or a pond that they like to nest in but hey mama goose she's definitely got eggs on her i can see all the feathers and stuff under her bum hey mama goose i'm not going oh and here's our taxi so we are now going to the shop to get some money out and to get a few supplies and i might take you with us but otherwise Let's go and jump in the cab. 
Hey guys, I'm obviously back home now. I thought I'd end this um, vlog. I went to the doctors, like I said, found a little mummy goose, which was so cute. We went to the local shop, actually where Lewis works, picked up a few little essentials. We've got shopping coming on Friday, so we didn't need too much. Bought some lunch and took down some essentials to Lewis's mum. Of course, we didn't stop. We put the stuff on her uh, doorstep. I yelled through the letterbox, but she didn't hear me, so I had to ring the bell. Um, she stood at her door. We stood about eight, ten foot away at the end of the driveway while we waited for a taxi to come and pick us up. We had a chat with her. It's really sad not being able to give her a hug or anything, but... Um, yeah, that is today's vlog, and it's getting manic you know people there wasn't a lot of people out but it's i think people are starting to realize now we've just got an extension on our lockdown so it's gone from we've had three week lockdown and now they've just extended it for another three weeks so that's the beginning of june but as you guys know i've already been in lockdown an extra two weeks so uk's in four i've been in two so now we're on like getting into week six and I'm losing track of days and how long I've been here, but like I say, beginning of March I've been in, it's now middle of April, so yeah, I'll catch you on the next one guys, and I'm out, see you later.